Concerning new report by Bloomberg speaking about a new discovery made by the UN Atomic Agency last week, reporting Iran is now closer than ever to an atomic bomb. Iran is not going to Iran אנחנו עושים הכל ונעשה הכל כדי להגן על אזרחינו ואנחנו מגיבים בעוצמה על ההתקפות נגדנו. This is how Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu opened Sunday's cabinet meeting just before two senior diplomats reporting Sunday evening that the International Atomic Agency recognizing last week that Iran had enriched uranium to a rate of 84 percent, only 6 percent less than the level needed to develop a nuclear weapon. The diplomats emphasizing that Iran's unrestrained activity on the atomic issue could create a huge crisis. According to the report, Iran previously stated that its centrifuges being designed to enrich uranium to a priority level of 60 percent only. Negotiations on Tehran's contested nuclear policy with the West aimed at reviving a 2015 accord have been in doldrums for several months. As it appears that Washington is accepting the diplomatic talks with the Islamic Republic have reached a dead end. Earlier today, U.S. Ambassador to Israel Tom Knight stating that the U.S. is acting as a loyal partner in cooperation with Israel on the issue of Iran. All options are on the table with Israel having America's full backing. Knight's continued assuring that the Iranian nuclear is dangerous for Israel. The Middle East and the U.S. say, and as the Iranians are supplying drones to Russia, drones killing innocent Ukrainians, there's no chance the U.S. will return to the negotiating table with the Islamic Republic. <laughs> Iran, in the meantime, is denying the accusations with a state spokesman saying that until now there has been no uranium enrichment at a level of more than 60 percent, clarifying that the existence of uranium particles above 60 percent in the enrichment process does not, in any case, mean that there is another enrichment above 60 percent.